You may have noticed a number of times when I've moaned about my lack of farms. Who could forget the classics such as the time I had to go and get pumpkins by hand? This is rubbish. Or all of those times I had to go and get bamboo by hand. Oh man, this is rubbish. Getting sugar cane from the side of a river. This is rubbish. This is rubbish. And who could also forget the time I said I had no melons? I don't have any melons. I've decided that today is the day that I rid that problem from my life once and for all. Today we're going big. Really big. And we're going really big down there because this is a mess. We've got all that room. We can go through the side of our wall again like we've done with other places. I've got a lot of digging to do first. And when I say a lot of digging, I didn't realise it was going to take this long. We had a lot of lava to deal with. We had a cavern to deal with. And just digging a hole, surely nothing bad could happen, could it? Wrong. This creeper had other ideas as I was listening to some music, so I didn't hear him. And during this ordeal, I lost my pants. But I found this guy at the bottom. Get off my pants! And I took back what was mine before going to mend all my tools. But after almost five hours, we are finally here. We've got a massive hole in the ground. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? But my plan is to put a load of farms in here, as you know. We are going to do one on the floor here. I think this is where we're going to do our cactus farm. Then we'll put a sugar cane one over there, melon and pumpkin and bamboo over that way. It's going to be a busy place. So we're going to have everything feed down to a channel here and then we can lift it all up to our storage room, which will be up there. And I'm thinking of doing this one pretty colourful. I'm going crimson and warped wood, I think. So we have got a lot of resources to collect before we even think about decorating this place. I, I, I need to see what we've got first. I, I have no idea. It's been a while since I've been on the server. Let's go and have a look. I think I've got a place of crimson wood over it. Yes, there they are. There's warped. We'll need more crimson. Oh, no, we'll definitely need more. Yeah, yeah, we've got a lot to collect. Um... To the nether! But our first job was to deal with this gas that rudely interrupted me. But I couldn't return his fireball. I'm blaming the lag on the server. But then came our time to gloat. Come on. Yes! Ha 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 ha! Solely wins. After the flawless victory against a ghast, it was time to collect our resources. Warp stem up first. And then I came across this big tree, which clearly impressed me. That is a big tree. Looks like a big bell. Big tree. Next up on our to get list was crimson wood. So we got some. However, I kept getting pestered by these hoglins. So I decided to kill them to death. And one of them kindly gave me his head. So what else do you do when you get a head? You, you try it on, don't you? What a bad idea that was. I almost died as this piglin was ah. really not impressed with me. I totally forgot I needed gold on. What a noob. After all that fighting, I knew I was lost. I am lost. I am really lost. So for many minutes, we flew around the nether looking for the first portal we could come across. And then I found it. Somebody... <laughs> portal, I am going through that. However, when we got through, it was a desert and I knew I was still lost. Oh, I am lost. However, we soon came across something that looked familiar. What's that? That's my farm. Yes. Okay, I know where I am. Panic over. We managed to get back, but still had loads of resources to get. So first up, glowstone from the villagers. Which was a complete waste of time because I didn't use any of it. Next up was Amethyst Shards because I wanted to use Tinted Glass. Or at least I thought I did. Y again, you'll see that I'd never used any of that either. It just appears that I like to waste my own time. Next up was a trip to the beacon shop so I could buy a beacon. This was so we could mine a load of cobblestone to put our redstone components together because we're going to need a lot for this farm. Have you ever seen anyone more happy with a beacon? Let's place that down there. Ace 2. Now for some cobble. And finally, our redstone components. Here in front of me, we have got everything that we need. And when I say everything, I, I mean I've not got everything I need. We're building a pumpkin and melon farm down there. And at the moment, I've got no pumpkins and melons. I can't plant any. I'm going to have to go and get some of them before I even start this. I've not even come across melons yet. I need to go looking for melons. I know where melons will be. They're over here in the jungle, aren't they? Hunting for melons. I can't believe I'm hunting for melons. Melons? Yes! Well, that was easy. And finally, pumpkins from our rubbish pumpkin patch. I'm hoping this is the last time we have to use this one. So now that we had all our resources, the next job we had to do was put our flooring down. I like the way this looks. The floor is fully in. I like that colour. Ooh, it's a nice greeny, bluey colour. Turquoise. Turquoise? Turquoise, yeah. Let's go with turquoise. Turquoise. Well done, genius. Right, the next step we need to do, we'll start on the walls because when we start on the walls, then that'll give us a clearer picture of how much room I've got in here to put the cacti down. Probably at about that level there. But I don't know where to start. We're gonna have to go a few up, I think. <laughs> I've not planned this out. That may shock you. I, I haven't planned it out. I'm, I'm, I'm making it up as I go along. First layer in. This is gonna look pretty colourful. I like this. So I did want this contrast with the red in the green or the turquoise. I think that looks quite nice. And we're going to do that 
all the way around, so it should give it quite a nice effect. But that is layer one in. Many, many more to go. I'm going to be here sometime. Talk amongst yourselves. So after deciding that looked really nice, I carried on with the rest of it. And yes, it did take quite a while, but it's done. I wonder if I'm going to need that much sugarcane. That is a big wall of a sugarcane farm. That, that's, that's just massive. I don't know if I'm going to need all that, <laughs> but I like overkill. It's good. However, again, I've seriously underestimated how many resources we need for this project. I'm running out of leaves. I'm running out of lanterns. I'm running out of pistons. We don't have enough to do the rest of this wall or that wall behind us. So before we crack on with the rest of the farm, I'm going to have to go resource gathering again. So let's go and get them because they're not going to gather themselves, are they? Getting more wood and leaves and then making some more redstone components. This will definitely teach me to prepare better next time. Maybe? Resource gathering done. Now we can crack on with the rest of this. Just get these two walls finished. And then once we've done that, we can get on with putting the cacti in the middle and then covering all this over. Ooh, I can't wait to see this. So first up is our bamboo farm. This is going to be exactly the same as the other side where the sugar cane is. And yet again, it looks impressive. Then onto the pumpkin and melon farm. And as you can tell, this one's a little bit of a different layout than the other one, but still the same colors. And then the cactus farm. This one was one that I thought has gone way over the top. I am never going to need this much cacti. Is there really any need for a farm as big as this? I don't know what I'm going to do with all this. I may have gone a bit over the top, but never mind. The next thing we've got to do is actually plant this stuff. Look, there's nothing planted yet. That looks epic. <laughs> now the sugar cane. Oh, we're looking epic now. Oh, <laughs> bamboo next. Honestly, I have no idea why I would need all this. <laughs> but it looks cool. Last one. Melons and pumpkins. Holy moly. Look at all this. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. Look at all that. Um, It doesn't matter that a few stay up there. I don't care about that. Ha! Oh, that's that's a lot. Now we've got all them in, the next job we've got to do is funnel it all into here. Because we can't have it all sitting there. We need to put it somewhere. So at the minute, it's, it's just going to go down there. And then we'll have to put the glass on. This all needs glass right in front of it to stop it from going everywhere and landing on top of these guys. Right, all I've done is put the water in. Look at it. Look at it all coming in. Look at this as well. This is insane. <laughs> I may have overdone this farm. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, this is crazy. Okay. Uh, still plenty of tidying up to do. We need to do the glass. So remember that bit before when I said I wasted all my time getting those amethyst shards so I could make tinted glass? Yeah, this is that bit. So I started putting it up, stepped back, had a look, thought, no, I don't like that. Yeah, great waste of time. So what I did was take it all down again, just to waste even more of my life. And then I changed it for light grey stained glass instead. This looks way better. I'm definitely glad I made that change early. Because if I put all the tainted glass in all the way around, I honestly probably wouldn't have bothered changing it. It just takes too long. So next up was the farm floor because nobody ever likes to walk on cacti. And we kept this one simple so that we could see all the goodies come in at the bottom. And just like that, the inside of our farm is complete. Well, apart from that wall. So I've gone for a darker roof or ceiling because that will draw your eyes to all the colours that we've got in here. So the next thing we've got to do, other than decorate these walls, and this is going to be our getting in and out place over here somewhere, we need to do something with all this. Because at the moment, it's just... Look at all that. But yeah, we need to do something with that. So what we're going to do is shoot it right up to the top, I think. So still plenty to do. This this project's massive. Way bigger than I thought it was originally going to be. Well, there we go. Our needlessly big farm is all done. This is looking immense, if I say so myself. Look at this. So we've carried on the colors over here. I am waiting for all that copper to go green. I think that'd look better over here. Same with this copper around here as well. I think that'll look pretty cool once it goes green and it is starting to turn. Carpet, that serves two purposes. One is we're hiding light under it to stop all the mobs spawning. And two, I think we are, well, I know, <laughs> one of these sections is in a slime chunk. So I'm hoping these stop the slimes from spawning. I'm hoping they are close enough. But it looks pretty cool. That blends in well with that. So it adds a bit of depth as well. That's looking immense. Oh, I like this. So it's not done up here. We still haven't finished this. It's, it's, 
It's just the never ending project. It's a big project, but I am going to get it done in this video. But as you can see, look, look. <laughs> storage needs sorting. That's crazy amounts. Let's see how much we get. Holy moly. I've, I have literally just got rid of all that as well. So the only bit we had remaining was somewhere to put all this. We can't have a farm with no storage because that would just leave this stuff everywhere. And I don't want that. that it would just look rubbish, wouldn't it? So storage it is. We've kept it nice and simple and we've bought all the colours that we had down in the bottom up to this area. So throughout the process of building this farm, I've had one question in my mind. Why? Why have I done this? This has taken over my life for about four or five days now. Not a good idea. <laughs> But finally done. We are done with the farm. It is all up running and collecting stuff like you wouldn't believe. So here we are. This is our storage part to the farm. It's nice and simple. Look at this. It's not even been collecting that long. Crazy amounts. So we are sorted for everything that we need in this farm. Let's just nip down here. Oh, look at the size of this place. And I've got a bit of redstone missing up there. Look at that. Just one pumpkin. I need to fix that. <laughs> But yeah, look, it's it's done. The copper's starting to turn green. That's gonna look epic. It's starting to turn green up there. Oh, it's just it's just awesome. What do you think? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Am I stupid for doing this? Long project. Long, long project, but I'm finally done. So that is definitely me done for this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you have enjoyed it and you've not subscribed yet, you might as well press that button. I mean, you could unsubscribe at another time, but why would you want to do that? Oh, and uh, leave a like. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.